Herman Wall. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, the short version of that is, is that Fred Lewigard was my editor up here. He yeah. said, Gurney is a famous writer. Herman Wolk is uh, in town. And they called me and asked me to come down to the VFW to have some drinks. You know, He said, I can't go. He said, but you're um, interested in writing. Uh, 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 why don't you go down? Uh, but you're going to have to uh, put on a clean shirt or something. Well, I went up to my little uh, house in the backwoods and I had bought previously a green suit. And it was uh, 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 too large for me. So I walked around, there was kind of this baggy suit. I had some kind of tie. I have a Polaroid camera. And I went in and sat at the table. And there were four guys. One of them was Bruce Morton. Kyle Vance, the Bill current Moore. journal reporter. Bill Moore. No. Isn't there a Bruce? Bruce Stevens. Bruce Stevens. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. yeah. Um, and um, and everybody is like uh, 40 years old. Uh, Mr. Woke was 45. I'm just kind of you know, improvising. But uh, they were serious, grown-up, sophisticated, worldly men. And they were talking about world politics. They knew politicians, knew people in Washington. And they were talking business and stuff. I was like 21. And um, uh, I, I, I had no idea what they were talking about. I just knew that I could not be a player in that conversation. So, um, so I waited until little opportunities came. The conversation would slack, slack, and there'd be a moment, and I'd say, and I have my notebook and my pencil. I said, "Mr. Woke, why do you write?" And then a little bit later, another little pause, and I just zoomed in there. I said, Mr. Wolf, where were you born? And I was interviewing him uh -huh. in this sort of uh, nagging way. So flash forward three years, I'm in the Army, stationed at Fort Ord, California. And on Saturdays, I spent the afternoons at the uh, Post uh, Library. So I went in there one Saturday. And um, uh, there, right at the checkout counter, big novel, Young Blood Hawk. Woke was here researching um, uh, for this book, and is loosely based on the life, uh, life, the life of Thomas Wolfe. And but he cast the, you know, which is about a country boy who gets famous with his first novel. But he places that uh, names him Young Blood Hawk. So I started reading this novel, and um, uh, right there, and I read, I was taking it, you know, really gulping it down, and on page 100, I turned the page, and it was the moment in the story when the famous writer, who's still a bumpkin, um, was returning to his home in the coal fields, where his dear old widowed mother lived. And um, so he, in the story, goes to see his mother and uh, sit, hangs with her for, you know, an hour or two. But then he says, well, I'm going to go downtown and uh, get a drink or something. And he goes in the American Legion, Young Blood Hawk does. And he goes in and looks around, goes up to the bar and standing there ordering a drink, enjoying the moment, ordering a second drink. Um, when a skinny reporter in an ill-fitting suit comes and begins to pester him with questions. <laughs> and that right there, I knew um, I was immortal. 